Okay, hello everyone. This is our second virtual um, annual induction ceremony. And this year we have a lot of inductees and thank you everybody for joining us. And we are super excited to welcome all of our new members. Uh, before we begin, I do want to start with the land acknowledgement because although many of us are not in UBC or Canada for that matter, we still operate on UBC's Point Gate Great Campus, which is located on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Muskegon people. Please reflect on what the land acknowledgement means to you as we move forward. Now, today you're attending the ceremony for one of two reasons. Either you or someone you know is being officially inducted into PSYCHI, the International Honor Society in Psychology. What this means is that you have excelled in your studies and achieved high academic requirements for membership and are now being publicly recognized for your membership. Um, and you're being publicly recognized for your uh, accomplishment in, in the applications of psychology. Acceptance to Psychi is no easy task. And for undergraduate students, it means that you are at the top 35% of your classes and have completed numerous psychology courses. You should feel proud of this lifetime accomplishment and you can include your membership on your employment applications like your resumes and CVs because we are globally recognized by a lot of um, employers. This should not be a surprise because Saikai has an active community of hundreds of thousands of lifetime members located across the United States, Canada, and all over the globe. Now, members of Saikai, again, our purpose in this meeting here is to induct you into Saikai um, uh, as people who are dedicated to the field of psychology. You are all candidates and we are about to be inducted into this international scope, international interest, and open up your doors to international opportunities in psychology. Uh, so active members are invited to participate not only in the activities of the local chapter here at UBC, but once borders do open again, also in those of regional um, and society organizations. Uh, so before accepting membership in Saikai, we invite you to hear its standards and ideals. From our faculty advisor, Dr. Stephen Barnes. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Stephen Barnes. I'm the Associate Head Undergraduate Affairs in the Department of Psychology. I'm also the faculty advisor for the UBC chapter of Psychi, and I wanted to welcome you all and congratulate all the inductees and the uh, award winners as well that we're gonna announce. Um, yeah, can you, okay. Uh, so uh, the, the Saikai mission statement is quite clear. It's recognizing and promoting excellence in the science and application of psychology. By joining this organization, we're gonna to work together in, a, in our field through observation, logical thinking and critical and yet tolerant open-mindedness. We accept that a fundamental teaching of psychology is the fact that individuals have differences. This means that different people have varying interests and motives and we all strive for different goals. We look upon our science as, developing, as a developing effort to understand human nature. So this is a list of our summer 2020 inductees. I'd like to congratulate all of you, uh, especially those of you who are here. Um, and on the next slide, we start to have uh, the many inductees from the winter which totaled 148 new members. Um, I think that's a record, correct me if I'm wrong, Sharon and Abhi. Yeah, that's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty remarkable. So congratulations to all of you. Um, that's quite a remarkable achievement, obviously, that you've done so strongly academically that you've made it into this organization. Congratulations. Okay, so you've now heard the aims and ideals of Saikai. Um, do you as individuals in the field of psychology accept, accept its goals and purposes as your own? And so if you would now like to either unmute your mic or use the chat menu to say I do, that would be great. I do. 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 Great. Thanks, everyone. 
So you've now officially signified your acceptance of the conditions of membership offered to you. We welcome you to the UBC chapter of Saikai and look forward to your fellowship and friendship. So now we have uh, three awards that we're going to announce. Uh, UBC Saikai offers three awards annually. Uh, they're listed here. This is Sudfeld Scholar Award, uh, which carries with it um, a $500 reward, the Distinguished Undergraduate Researcher Award, and the Goldsmith Willens Award. So uh, the winner of this year's Sudfeld Scholar Award, uh, worth $500 and obviously very um, highly uh, honorable, is Alicia Siuling Liang Sinclair. This award, the Sudfeld Scholar Award, recognizes the most outstanding student co combining excellence in academics, research, and service leadership. This is UBC Psychi's most prestigious award. Congratulations, Alicia. Alicia works in the Center for Cognitive Development, has leadership roles in nonprofit organizations, and, tutor and, and, and their tutoring experience have all been clear evidence of outstanding academic success in their coursework and research contributions with innovative and impactful service to the community. Congratulations again, Alicia. Are you here, by the way? If you are here, it'd be nice to see your, your face and give everyone a hello. If you're not, that's fine. I look forward to meeting you at some point in the future. The winner of the Distinguished Undergraduate Researcher Award is Natasha Zipan. Natasha has shown evidence of outstanding research, research contributions above and beyond what is typically produced from participation in directed studies or the honors program. Her research in the UBC Sexual Health Research Lab, Perfectionism and Psychopathology Lab, and Swell Lab has demonstrated clear innovation and impact in their, in their contribution to UBC research. Big congratulations to Natasha. Are you here, Natasha? Yeah, you are I'm here. Oh, hi, Thank Natasha. You. Congratulations. Hi, Stephen. Thanks so much. Yeah. Excellent work. And the winner of the Goldsmith Willens Award uh, is Armand Mohseni. Armand has shown clear evidence of outstanding leadership, innovation, and initiative in a capacity that has improved the quality of life for members of the community. Armand's involvement at Riverview Lodges has helped many people with mental illness and disabilities. Armand has supported and shown care to members of their community and has improved the quality of lives of many people. Congratulations, Armand. Are you here? Yeah, right here. Thanks a lot. Hi, really congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And I just want to say at the end here that um, the adjudication committee on which I sat, we all struggled very difficult. This is a very difficult decision. The award winners are obviously very meritorious, but there were other people that we'd like to acknowledge that were um, also meritorious and had amazing accomplishments. Thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Abhi, and I'm the co-president of UBC Saikai. Now that everyone is a member of the Saikai community here at UBC, we wanted to give you an overview of our, our organization and what our local chapter does here at UBC. So every year, we organize a load of professional development events for students around UBC, as well as Saikai members, in order to further uh, improve their uh, employability and their skills in the workplace. We also provide financial support as the awards that we just announced, as well as many more available on the Saikai website. We're also here to show recognition for all the students that have done a tremendous job. An example is this induction ceremony for all of you over here. And the, the best part is this network of peers that all of us have created together in this chapter. So it's a way for you to connect with all of us to further our network and excel in our career in psychology. This year, we were, this year was a huge challenge for us as we had to adapt from in-person events and uh, meetings, all everything, and we had to turn everything virtually. However, it was a huge success that our leadership and executive team has reached over 600 students in Canada as well as worldwide. Our leadership team with uh, two co-presidents this year, as well as a vice president internal, external events and marketing. Alongside that, we also had an executive team. This is our second year with this structure where we gave an opportunity to members who are not Saikai members, but rather just other UBC students who wants to be involved in what we do here in our mission statement. And for many first and second years to join as an executive team to be part of our com community. And it's a great opportunity. 
So we hope to see your applications uh, very soon. We'll be hiring over the summer. So stay in tune for that on your emails and everything. And um, yes, this year we've accomplished great things. As I said earlier, we touched over 600 students all over the world. That started with uh, an expert talk series where we invited professionals every biweekly to talk about their careers and interesting topics that pertaining to their field of interest. And then November and January, we continued our expert talk series as well as introduced an international high school mentorship program. Every year we have high school students come and take a tour of the labs here at UBC, but we had to adapt this year. So instead we reached out to international schools around the world and paired psychology students at UBC as a mentor with mentees over there. And it was a huge success. We further continued publishing a podcast on YouTube and Spotify. The Labyrinth podcast is where we interview researchers uh, in our department of psychology to talk about their research and how other research systems can be involved uh, in research at uh, UBC. And now we are finally here uh, for our annual Psychi induction ceremony, celebrating all you fabulous people being inducted into Psychi this year. And hopefully, uh, and next year we'll continue and grow our community even stronger. Thank you. And uh, there is more. If you want to know more about the benefits of Psychi, of your Psychi membership, please visit psychi.org and you will see all the numerous benefits that you can uh, take advantage of. Yeah, thank you, Stephen and Abby. Um, so your membership here is a lifetime membership and you have all paid your fees. So you may be wondering what benefits are there. And as a current member myself, I do want to say that it's okay if you don't fully understand the benefits yet, because the more you dig, the more there is to come. And in today, we will only touch briefly on the surface of what it has to offer, which you can explore more on this website. Um, but on top of joining us, um, in the summer and onwards in our club as a Psychi to contribute to the events that Abby has just mentioned and to bring new ideas on how you want to develop um, psychology um, at UBC itself. This is what your membership entails and this is for a lifetime. You can always access these materials. So we have already talked about global recognition. So you can get a discounted regalia at graduation. You order this online and this is a distinctive color and that right off the bat tells people that you have achieved academic excellence in the field of psychology specifically. And also when you add it to your resume or CV, employers are already having some understanding of your grades and your accomplishments and your research passions without having to say a lot. Um, we also have a career center at jobpsychi.org where you can explore psychology related jobs as a student, as a full time afterwards. And this of course helps you identify and obtain psychology related jobs um, after your graduation. Uh, there are also thousands of psychology related openings for other positions as well. Um, and the financial aid this year, it may only seem like we're giving off scholarships, which by the way, you can apply at our UBC Psychi website afterwards. Um, there's also global grants and all of that, which will be enabled once the pandemic uh, improves. And again, we have a lot of research journals. So your membership fee covers access to Psych Info, uh, EBSCO information services, Psychi journal of research, Crossref and all of the sources that we en encourage you to um, take advantage of. Uh, Psychi also supports your journey on, on publishing your own work as well as um, access to other publications. So please do explore Eye on Psychi magazine, Psych Everywhere blog, and there are also monthly webinar series on career advice, psychology advancements, and tips for both professional and personal growth as a Psychi member. Um, yeah, otherwise, this is the end of our induction, and I'll let um, Stephen have the final word. <laughs> you don't deserve the final word. <laughs> okay, big congrats to everyone. Uh, welcome to the, welcome to Psych High, and congratulations on those three who won the awards this year. Congratulations.